uh, in the course of pumping a bicycle tire a liter of air at atmospheric pressure is compressed adiabatically to a pressure of 7 air is mostly diatomic nitrogen and gas a what's the final volume of this air after compression okay so uh, so since this is adiabatic compression uh, we know uh, we've we've derived in the section uh, that uh, pi uh, or v uh, to the gamma times the pressure uh, remains the same and uh, gamma is called the adiabatic exponent equal k so it remains the same and uh, gamma is equal to the adiabatic exponent which is equal to f plus 2 over f where f stands for the degrees of freedom uh, since we are told that air is mostly diatomic nitrogen and gas for diatomic gases we have three degrees of freedom in the translational uh, quadratic terms of, of the velocity and we also have two rotational ones uh, so uh, for reasons in quantum mechanics the uh, molecule is not allowed in a diatomic gas the, mo the, the atom is not allowed to rotate about the axis that's going along it uh, so so we have a total of 5 so f is 5 okay so uh, that tells me that uh, v1 uh, so uh, which makes here gamma to be 7 over 5 okay so v1 raised to the 7 fifths times p1 has to equal v2 raised to the 7 fifths times p2 okay so we are told that we have a liter of air so this is v1 at atmospheric pressure this is p1 uh, and to a pressure of 7 atm this is p2 and we are looking for v2 okay so straightforward just plug it in so v1 is uh, 1 raised to the 7 fifths uh, p1 uh, that's atmospheric pressure um, uh, 1 atm let's use atm okay and then v2 we don't know and then the p2 is 7 so that means v2 to the 7 fifths is equal to 1 over 7 and so that means v2 will equal uh, raise both of these to the uh, power of 5 seventh so we get 1 over 7 5 seventh liters whatever this is okay part B uh, how much work is done in compressing the air okay so we know that the work is minus integral uh, p as a function of v dv uh, going from v1 to v2 so uh, this is minus integral uh, v1 was 1 liter this is going to 7 to the minus 5 over 7 uh, and then uh, uh, this would be uh, the pressure uh, what was the pressure here so the pressure here would be uh, dv over uh, v to the seven fifths right uh, okay so then uh, we get uh, five halves or we if we raise this up we get so this is you know straightforward integral uh, this will be V uh, minus seven halves 
minus 7 fifths plus 5 over 5 minus 2 over 5 and we could multiply by negative 5 over 2 and this is going from 1 to minus 5 over 7 uh, plug in the upper and the lower bounds uh, calculator work finally I'll just write the answer for you uh, we get 1.86 ATM liters uh, if we change it to joules uh, this is straightforward to change to joules it's 188 uh, because uh, uh, we, could, we could multiply by uh, every one atmosphere is 1.03 10 to the fifth uh, Pascals and then from liter to meter cube we multiply by 10 to the minus 3 so if you do so no, actually let me write that down for you so if you multiply by 1.01 10 to the fifth and uh, 1 times 10 to the minus 3 you get the work in joules uh, this is 188.4 uh, uh, joules Okay, uh, part C. Uh, part C. If the temperature of the air is initially 300, what's the temperature after compression? Well, we know for adiabatic compression, uh, we know that Vt to the F over 2 remains the same, is equal to K. So that means V1 T1 raised to, uh, we said F is 5, so this is 5 halves, has to equal sorry this is not prime this is v1 t1 equal v2 t2 raised to the 5 halves uh, we know uh, t1 is 300 so we're gonna plug in now 300 to the 5 halves we know v1 is 1 liter uh, we know v2 we've calculated v2 uh, to be 1 7 to the minus 5 over 7 and this is unknown and uh, we could just divide and raise everything to the two-fifths so we get 300 five halves over 7 minus 5 over 7 and this whole thing raised to the two-fifths and if you plug this on the calculator you're supposed to get uh, 523 Kelvin uh, this is very hot by the way um, it's 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 almost the uh, melting point of certain metals and that's why it's no surprise that uh, when you uh, um, uh, pump air into a bicycle uh, it's the pump gets uh, extremely hot uh, that concludes this problem